New York, CBS New York, 19 people were killed, including nine children, in a five-alarm fire at a Bronx apartment building Sunday, FDNY official said. More than 60 people were hurt in the blaze at 333 East 181st Street in the Fordham Heights section of the borough. FDNY Commissioner Daniel Negro said a malfunctioning electric space heater appeared to be the cause. The fire started in an apartment on the second and third floors. While the fire did not spread past the apartment and nearby hallway, the apartment door was left open when people ran out. The smoke spread throughout the building, thus the tremendous loss of life and other people fighting for their lives at hospitals throughout the Bronx, Negro said. This is a horrific, horrific painful moment for the city of New York, Mayor Eric Adams added. The impact of this fire is going to really bring a level of just pain and despair in our city. The numbers are horrific. Watch, Mayor Adams, FDNY Commissioner Negro hold press conference on deadly Bronx apartment fire. Once you got to the sixth floor, it was pitch black so you couldn't see no more, resident Nakia Gonzalez told CBS 2's Kevin Rincon. She said she waited for firefighters to come knocking, to let her know it was clear for her to leave. That alone was terrifying. From my window trying to look out, I see the flames in my next apartment from me. Very scary, Gonzalez said. Photos, Bronx apartment fire kills 19, including nine children. Up on the ninth floor, Dylany Rodriguez said she could only listen as neighbors begged. There was a lot of kids crying, help. 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 Rodriguez said. Rodriguez and her family got out unharmed, but she said she knows the same can't be said for everyone, and that weighs heavy on her. I can't describe that. I can't, Rodriguez said. A few floors down, when Best could only sit and wait for help. When I looked through the peephole, you couldn't see nothing, to the point the smoke was so heavy it knocked out the alarm. There was no more beeping, Best said. She made it out with her pet cat and said she feels lucky to have gotten out alive. The smoke was coming in through the door, so I put the towels around and I said I wasn't going anywhere until the knock on the door," Best said. Hours after the fire was put out, CBS2 could still see first responders hard at work. I am horrified by the devastating fire in the Bronx today. My heart is with the loved ones of all those we've tragically lost, all of those impacted and with our heroic at FDNY firefighters. The entire state of New York stands with New York City. Kathy Hochul, at Gov. Kathy Hochul, January 9, 2022. Adams said the tragedy is being felt by the men and women that live here, not only in the Bronx, but throughout the city. This is going to be one of the worst fires that we have witnessed during modern times here in the city of New York. The last time we had a loss of life that was maybe this horrific was the Happyland Fire, which was over 30 years ago, also here in the Bronx, Negro said. According to officials, 200 firefighters responded after the fire started on the second or third floor at around 11 a.m. Some ran out of oxygen in their tanks as they tried to make it to the 19th floor. 32 people were transported to five hospitals, with the majority of the victims suffering from severe smoke inhalation, Negro said. This smoke extended the entire height of the building, completely unusual, Negro said. Members found victims on every floor in stairwells and were taking them out in cardiac and respiratory arrest. Negro said, as evidenced by the broken windows in the building, this fire took its toll on the city. Governor Kathy Hochul, who attended a Sunday evening press conference with Adams and Senator Chuck Schumer, said, we are indeed a city in shock. It's impossible to go into that room, where scores of families, who are in such grief, who are in pain, to see in a mother's eyes as I held her, who lost her entire family, it's hard to fathom what they are going through. We will not forget you. We will not abandon you. We are here for you," Hochul added. She said she will be establishing a victim's compensation fund to help the people impacted by the fire. This was a large Muslim population, Adams said. Many of the residents came from Gambia. And we want to make sure that we are sensitive to their cultural needs. The medical examiner's office is going to coordinate to make sure that we respect the burial rights of the Muslim community, as well as others. This is a heavy immigrant community, Adams added. If you need assistance, your names will not be turned over to ICE or any other institution. We want people to be comfortable in coming forward, 
and it's imperative that we connect with those on the ground to make sure they get that message and that word out. Those affected by the five alarm fire in the Bronx can call the American Red Cross for temporary housing assistance, 1-877-733-2767. For more information and updates, text 181 fire to 692692 or visit https colon slash slash t.co slash pdu for favelani. NYSM, Notify NYC, at Notify NYC, January 9, 2022. Schumer added, at the federal level, we will do whatever we can to help the victims. We are going to do everything we can to bring services on the ground here to give the people the assistance that they need as we all recover from the trauma that we are witnessing here in the buildings behind us," Adams added. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon contributed to this report. Please check back for more updates on this developing story.